I'm going to do now is we're going to work with the burning pen. And I'm going to do a little more texturing. I mean, uh, burning as a texture. And then we're going to burn these feathers in, and I'll show you how I do that. So I'm using the P12S burning pen, but you can also, there's like a P5, and that works out very nice because that's like a spear shape. Yeah, there's several, even a P12, It's it's got a little wider uh, tip, and that works out well. But I'm just trying to give you a, a variety of uh, different tips that you can use, or pens, I should say. So I'm using the Optima One pens, and I've been really favoring these over a lot of others, but there's a lot of good ones out there. <clears throat> this isn't the end all, but uh, I enjoy these and and been doing these for a number of years and, and really focused in on with these. So I'm going to show you the same techniques that I did in the head area here. I'm going to do in these what I call the wing coverts over here. I'm going to come in. I am not going to do any lifting. I'm just going to come in and woo, a little hot. Let me back off just a little bit. And what I want to do is do the fanning effect. You come into the middle of the feather and then you flick it up so you're not burning so deep all the way across the wing. And you're burning the leading edge. Very similar to what we did on the, on the head itself. So I'm coming in here. Well, I thought I was steady. To, Today's not one of my steadier days, but we'll make it happen. And I, that's another thing, too, when you're doing this sometime. Uh, as I found over the years, when I'm uh, trying to do some work, as, far as, as much as like the detail I love, there are days when I'm not doing my best and I feel as though today ain't the day <laughs> so I actually put the work down sometime and uh, pick it up for another time okay now again just to explain what I do here's the feather right here hope you can see all this and I go to the leading edge in front, strike down the middle, then I fan to the left and fan to the right. That is not a quill or anything like that. It's just a positioning of the bird. Then I come in here. And the one that's peeking out. Burn that. And then we have one more right here. Now, what I'm going to try to do, so I don't have a video that goes on forever, I'm going to start you out by burning half of this, and then you're going to do the same thing on the other side, so that we could expedite things and make a reasonable length video, and then we'll go on from there. Now, after I did this, you will do that on this side as well, okay? But... To save time and everything else, I'm going to burn right on these lines, okay? So, I'm um, not burning for like a texture like I did here or or uh, on the head or the mantle. I'm just, I want to lift all these feathers. I want to give uh, the, the realism that may come from... the bird's feather actually being exposed and lifted. So that's what I'm trying to do right now.
So I do it halfway. If you noticed, I, whew, I really veered off of there. That's not a good thing, but I'll live with it. I'm going to come this way first. And then let me do all these coming down. Just uh, sort of like, they're not straightaways, but they're slightly arced. Very slight. Then I'm going to come around this way. And I'm going to come from the top and spin around and join that one. Then I'm gonna piggyback the other one. This one comes out just a little bit more. And around and back. Then I'm gonna do another one right here. Comes down and joins that one. Then I come down and I join the last one. So you have one, two, three, four, five feathers in there, okay? So you burn them in. Now, we have three little ones down here, and I'll do it the same way. I'll start from front end here and move back, and then I'll do it on the next one. I hope you can see this well. Then this one circles around. Okay. And then I'll get this one and circle around. And then this one comes right around here and it goes like that. Okay. So that's a one, two, three, and they piggyback and get a little longer as you go down here. Now, these feathers are on this side and they're on top of these. But I'm gonna do this side. Uh, and when I go to actually relieve these feathers, this grouping is gonna go first because they have to be on top and these have to be underneath. But on the wood burning, I'm just gonna come down because I'm only doing uh, a partial of this feather because I'm coming down and then it would have the illusion of tucking in under the other group. So let me just see how long it takes for me to burn this and then I'll, I may do some of the burning on the other side. So I'm starting up here again and I'm traveling down. And notice, I have my finger all the time. This hand is actually touching this piece because if you try to do it this way, you're too shaky. Even if you, uh, sometimes I get like a, a little cushion or a block and I try to rest it and do it that way too, that helps. But I always have my little pinky resting on the bird so that uh, I have full control. And then I want to get back into the groove where I left off and I continue that. Here's the other one. And it comes down and you want to take your time. And I have this on about a five and a half on my machine, but that doesn't always reflect every machine, you know, as far as setting on temperature and I'll come in here this is going to pivot right on up into there short change that one I'll have to expand that out there's another one and I'll take that one right on out and piggyback off of that one and I'm going to get this one. And I hope you guys got all this on the last video and all the pencil work that was done. And that will establish what we're doing now. We're basically burning this in. And then I'll show you the technique 
on how I lift these. Now, that's a grouping. I did the, the, the three major ones, then four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now, I'm going to come in here. And this feather is going to turn right there. And it's actually going to seem like, remember when we had that line that sort of veered off the center? That's where we're meeting up at. And the, we're trying to give the illusion that these guys are on top of this. So half of this feather that I just started here is actually underneath. At least that's what we're trying to give the illusion. I hope I made that clear and didn't confuse you. And when you're wood burning, practice a little bit. Not just what I'm doing now, but on a piece of scrap wood, especially when you go to do the, the wood burning and get the techniques down, especially like on the head area or those coverts, the wind coverts I just did. Uh, I make things look easy, but you have to practice a little bit. And you, you should have a, 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 a pointy type burning pen so that you can uh, uh, get in and get some of that detail the way we burn. Because if uh, if you don't have something like that, it, it could be a little self-defeating, a little bit. Now, I'm looking at, here's my bottom. Let me, let me get a pencil. I think from handling this all the time, I lost my pencil line, so... I'm actually splitting the distance between here and here for this one. And it, it starts out that wide down there. But when we come up here, it, it, it pulls in. So let me do that. We're going to come in here. I'll lay this right on there. Follow that line. There we go. Coming up. Just take your time and you can get back right into the groove again. We left off and just takes a little practice. And I get that one. Then we have one. I'm trying to ad lib like what's coming right off of here. I'm just going to start it from here and wood burn this feather right here come up and in and then the last one i'm going to do it this way because this is basically almost laying on the tail we're going to lift this and i'm going to come back and we're just filling in space here to like I said, the real illusion is there's a lot of feathers in here, but we're only putting in so many just to give the illusion. Now, let me go on the other side. I'm going to burn both sides, so you. but I'm not going to do all of this. I'm going to do just this area here just so you can see what I'm trying to get at. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to swing around. I usually do like half a feather, and then I find by doing half, I have control, and then I come around, and that's one, Then I do the next one, I come down. this one all the way around because this should be the full feather these are 
what they call like half feathers in a sense that you that are exposed. Hope I didn't drift away from the camera again. So here we go. I jumped a little bit, but I'm gonna get back on track and we'll see when I go to relieve it. See I did a I got off the line. Now, if you do that, don't worry about it too much. Get back on the line. And when we go to relieve these feathers, that'll probably disappear. Okay? We hope. And I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to be, I'm going to get them all on this side. But I'm just going to do this grouping here for you so that you can see what I'm trying to achieve here. And I'm trying to give this to you in segments so that not everything's happening all at once. I think what I try to do is give you enough information at a time that you can absorb and then um, it gives you a, a way of building up. And if you follow my videos, you know, it, it, it's not foolproof, but uh, it's, uh, I'll, I'll try to say like a relaxing way or you're not trying to do so much at one time. Uh, some of my videos can get real lengthy because I can't help it. I have to tell you so much to keep you going. Now you can see, I've got all these in like I did over here. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to burn the primaries. Let's swing this around. And uh, the biggest thing is uh, is practice and, uh, and if some of you don't have a steady hand then get something you can rest this on and and try to do it that way uh, I I tend to like holding my piece when I'm burning it but you uh, like I said you may want to get a block of wood or something so you can rest it on and then feel as if your this hand can rest on that piece and this is being held here and then you you have something to rest the guide on i've been doing this so long that a lot of times i i don't know if i'm i i just feel comfortable doing it this way but there's several ways of approaching it. And a lot of what I'm doing is uh, on different birds is you're going to see repetition. And the one thing that I try to do in my videos that I don't see on YouTube a lot is how to perform all these steps. And what I'm trying to do is give you the general gist of how I would normally teach in my class. And, and this is how I do it. I, uh, I uh, try not to keep no secrets. I want you to learn. And I'm giving you instructions where, in a lot of cases, uh, on YouTube, and there's nothing wrong with, uh, some people are uh, showing you how they do it, but what I'm doing in a half an hour they can complete the whole bird. And uh, I'm, I'm trying to show you all of it. 
and how I do it to the best that I could do, okay? And uh, like I said, I'm trying to uh, get you going in this process, but you can learn not only from from me, you can learn from other people. So be open to a lot of different processes that are happening. You know, um, I'm teaching you my way. And uh, I can't say that you couldn't learn some really neat stuff from other people as well. You know, be open on that. Okay, and then the last one I'm going to do is I'm going to come around here. And burn this in. And come back down. And land it right there. Okay, so I'm going to finish these up on this side, but you can see... Now, on the next video, I'm going to show you how to lift these, and we'll do this in a sequence. And at the same time, I'm going to, I'm going to do, again, I'll probably do this side first because this will be on top. And, and I'm going to also, <coughs> excuse me, show you in the same video how to texture these with the wood burner as well. So, I uh, hope you got something out of this one as well. And if you did, uh, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. And if you could subscribe to my channel, I'd greatly appreciate that. And if you have any friends that may be interested or you can pass my information on, uh, I'd greatly appreciate that as well. If anybody is interested in doing this bird, I have the kits where I have the pattern, the feet, the eyes, and uh, the blank and uh, you get all that in the kit just contact me through my email address and uh, appreciate you uh, hanging in there with me and i'll see you on the next video and we will start relieving uh, the feathers on that one thanks again